Hello again everyone and welcome back to Kovac Enterprises. We are currently working on the uh, Atlantis White Stallion out of the plains uh, for the Chris Cortell Annual Cancer Awareness Group Build 2023 as hosted by Bob Busking. And uh, so far we've made some more progress uh, on the uh, build for this figure kit. So uh, let me show you kind of like where we're at right now. I went ahead and if we went through the instructions here, we're at the stage of uh, three and four, which is submitting, uh, cementing the uh, chest section number nine to the right half foreleg and the body right half, as well as the cement underbelly section number eight uh, to the right hind leg and body right half. Once I did that, uh, we basically uh, cemented the one half to the other half and uh, because of the handling and trying to set up the glue, uh, I went ahead and kind of clamped them together and I'll show you what that is right now. We can get this in the, in the frame here for you. So I'm using some of these uh, quick grip clamps uh, once we put the chest plate in, as you can see right here, and uh, the underbelly part. Like I said, I uh, before I actually put the chest plate in and the, the underbelly, I made sure that uh, they were all nice and cleaned off with the flash, and I did a lot of dry fitting uh, before I actually committed to uh, gluing the whole part together. So, uh, despite that, since this is an old kit, uh, we do have some little gaps uh, in the chest plate uh, compared to the uh, to the rest of the figure. But, uh, like I said, once we do some more sanding and some putty work, hopefully we will get as much of the seams as possible uh, smoothed out. Another thing, uh, kind of bring this in a little bit here. The let me get my point, pointer here. Um, the part underneath the kind of the cheekbones of the horse's head had a big indentation from the mold process, and I went ahead and smoothed that out with various means of the uh, sanding stick and the files, so that the edging of the indentation. Uh, is pretty much non-existent anymore so we actually took care of that that problem and uh, like I said we actually kind of glued all this together the night before and let it sit overnight so uh, uh, at this time I will be taking the clamps off as well as the clothespin as well and uh, we will see where it's at and uh, get a closer look at it so stand by Okay, we are back, and uh, the clamps are now officially off. Um, as you can see, uh, close up of the chest plate here, going up towards his uh, neck area, um, you can see that there's some like little gaps right there. So, um, like I said, uh, we will be doing some um, major putting work here to try to close that up and try to conform that with the rest of the uh, body of the uh, horse itself and uh, but this is as close as I can get as far as uh, putting this together as we come down here to the underside uh, you, you can definitely see you know a lot of seams uh, after the gluing process so we'll try to go ahead and smooth that all out and you can see there's the uh, underbelly part of it as well and then as it goes into the part that we put in for the underbelly section uh, like I said again this is as close as we can get to where we uh, actually attach the uh, the points inside the horse to get as close to uh, together as possible so that's that part there and again a closer look on the underside that we were talking about the indentation and uh, you can see now it's all smoothed out real nice. If 
we come over to, here to the other side if we run down the top view here um, there's some like little gaps in there uh, so we're going to go ahead and you know clean up the seams along his his head area there and then along down his mane and uh, you can see that too as well and then of course along his back towards his tail end area which we haven't put on yet into the to the rear section of his legs but uh, overall uh, everything's kind of glued down nice and tight now and uh, again we'll go ahead and uh, do some more work on this uh, figure as far as uh, filing and sanding down and putting so but uh, that's what it looks like with the uh, clamps taken off and that being said uh, I know on the previous video we haven't talked about the tail again it's only like two parts here uh, we went ahead and glued that together filed everything down as much as possible uh, without uh, uh, working you know uh, as far as the actual tail hairs you know we want to still keep those intact so uh, this is where we're at with the tail okay so with that again being said that's uh we'll be right back after uh kind of before and after the seams and no seam type of uh, uh applications so stand by we'll be right back Alrighty, <clears throat> alrighty, and we're uh, back one more time uh i've done some more progress on the uh, white stallion uh for the uh Cancer Awareness Group Build 2023. So basically, uh, after filing away with uh, various metal files and uh, hobby knives, and uh, I started actually putting the horse along all the seam lines. But uh, as I was putting the seam lines, uh, since there were a lot of seam lines on this horse, I decided to do a little experiment. I've been using uh, basically this uh, Vallejo uh, plastic putty uh, number 401 and uh, what I've been doing is actually covering the whole entire horse with it by dabbing a little bit on my fingertip wetting it down since this is water soluble and actually just rubbing the entire horse from head to tail so to speak including the legs and uh, I know it's kind of hard to pick up from the camera angle but uh, you can see it's almost like the uh, hair short hairs of the horse uh, have you know come about uh, because before this was being done it had that really high glossy finish to it on the mold process so basically I knocked it all down by just uh, covering the entire horse with the uh, white plastic putty on there and uh, actually you can see remnants of some of my uh, finger prints swirling uh, to kind of represent the uh, short hair on the uh, horse itself so uh, that's kind of what I came up with um, and I actually used my Wagner uh, heat gun to uh, dry it all up so uh, I think we are good for right now so this is the one side of it we'll flip it around here you can see the other side as well so there we are so you can see the front part of the horse here uh, all the uh, gaps are pretty much gone and uh, everything's kind of smoothed out as best I can you can see the whole underbelly here as well where we had the two parts okay so basically our next step will be to actually I'm going to put some uh, gray primer and uh, airbrush it uh, on the horse itself and while I do that I'm going to actually do the uh, uh, diorama part of it for the uh, platform get everything kind of primed up and ready to go before I actually put the base color on there so so this is basically where we're at right now and uh, on the uh, next episode, uh, we will show you what uh, 
it looks like with the uh, gray paint uh, applied to the horse itself. So until then, uh, I hope everybody has a good weekend and uh, we will see you on the next uh, episode of this uh, Atlantis White Stallion out of all the plains. This is Kovac Enterprises and we are signing off.